Next, let's talk about Serena Williams and broken rackets, a game docked and more booze than a pantomime. Last night's US Open women's final was a first for tennis in more ways than one. Yes, there was plenty of emotion as we were discussing as Naomi Osaka secured her first Grand Slam title. But also much controversy after her opponent Serena Williams had a huge row with the umpire. The former British number one Annabelle, Annabelle Croft commentated on the game. She's been giving us her reaction. Well, I don't think I've personally ever witnessed anything quite like the atmosphere and the drama that unfolded on the Arthur Ashe uh, Stadium this evening in New York. It was like a bear pit atmosphere. The crowd were rounding on the umpire and the whole situation was getting out of control. So uh, it was very, very dramatic. Um, it was very sad on both parts because uh, I'm sure there's people who felt for Serena Williams because her coach... Uh, was effectively coaching her from the sidelines, which was not at her. You know, she couldn't stop what he was doing, obviously. And I'm not even sure whether she was aware he was doing it, but that is also her responsibility. And then you had this situation with uh, Naomi Osaka down the other end of the court, who was not able to enjoy this wonderful moment being the first Japanese player to ever win a Grand Slam. So it was extraordinary drama. And as I said, I've never witnessed anything quite like it. It's certainly got people talking. Yeah, it? it really has. It's a huge reaction on social media, on Twitter as well. We read out a few earlier, but this um, from Billie Jean King. She says, when a woman is emotional, she's hysterical and she's penalised for it. Yeah. When a man does the same, he's outspoken and there are no repercussions. Thank you, Serena Williams, she says, for calling out this double standard. More voices are needed to do the same. And I suspect the row over her behaviour will rumble for a little while. Just let's turn our attention to sport. Holly is here and events in New York overnight. So what are making the headlines this oh, morning? Oh, it's extraordinary scenes, weren't they? I mean, we should really be sitting here this morning talking about Naomi Osaka's achievements, you know, winning the US Open. Perhaps we could have been talking about Serena Williams winning her 24th Grand Slam title, but no, we're really focusing on this outburst that I mean, the, the idea of sexism has been raised yet again around Serena Williams, um, but it, it, they're quite upsetting to watch the scenes, aren't they? Mm. She is visibly quite upset. But let's let's just go through what exactly happened now. Of course, it was uh, Naomi Osaka becoming the first Japanese woman to win a Grand Slam title. Uh, the match will be remembered for these scenes. Just uh, take a look at this uh, in a moment that actually left her in tears. Now, this was uh, Williams giving. She was given a code violation for this after the umpire had accused her of receiving coaching from her coach that you saw just there in the first set, which she lost 6-2. And then she received a point penalty for smashing her racket as the match appeared to move away from her in the second set. And she called the umpire a thief, which led to a game penalty in the second set. She went from 4-3 down to 5-3 before saving her service game. Osaka then serving out 6-4 in the second set. I can't sit here and say I wouldn't say he's a thief because he, I thought he took a game from me, but I've seen other men call other umpires several things, and I'm here fighting for women's rights and for women's equality and for all kinds of stuff. And for me to say thief and for him to take a game, it made me feel like it was a sexist remark. I mean, like, how uh, he's never took a game from a man because they said thief. <laughs> for me, it blows my mind. But I'm going to continue to fight for women and to fight for us to have equal. Like, Courtney should be able to take her shirt off without getting a fine. Like, this is outrageous, you know? And I just feel like the fact that I have to go through this is just an example for the next person that has emotions and that want to express themselves and they want to be a strong woman and they're going to be allowed to do that because of today. Maybe it didn't work out for me, but it's going to work out for the next person. Thank you. Thank you.